Hi, Tim Vandersloos here. I want to take a minute and talk to you about finding the right medium that you want to carve in. Now, I've been looking for a very long time uh, for a medium that I can carve that allows me to be able to carve what I want and uh, express the, the vision and, and artistic side of things the way I want to express it. And at the same time, be able to fit within what I can physically do. All right, and I think that <laughs> that might be a challenge for some of us. Not everyone, but I want to talk to you a little bit about what I've been working on lately. It's been taking a lot of my time, and I've been really exploring carving gourds. Now, I never really considered carving gourds before. Um, I've looked at them, and, I, and there's some very fantastic artists out there who are doing gourds and, and carving on them, painting them, and, and doing other things with gourds. But uh, I kind of pushed it off and pushed it off. But then when I went to the Idaho Artistry and Wood Show, there was a lot of gourds there. And I could actually see the thickness that gourds can come in. And as a carver, I need thickness in order to be, re be able to relieve wood and, and go ahead <laughs> and carve something instead of just doing a thin piercing or, or something else, uh, like painting or something else. So. I've been really focusing on this. This is my first gourd. Um, I'm going to throw some pictures up here so you can kind of see it more close up. Uh, I, I'm going to talk about gourds more, and uh, but I just wanted to let you see it and see what can be done with a gourd. Now this was just an experimentation uh, as far as what can be done with a gourd. I wanted to see how thin it would go and still maintain its structural integrity. Um, knowing that this is grown just like a tree or anything else, I figured it'd have to have some sound structure to it in order for it to hold its shape. And I wanted to see how far I could push it. So I went ahead and, and carved this out to really see what options I had as far as doing the gourds. So what I found out was they're fantastic. I love doing gourds. Um, it carves, to me, it carves very much like basswood or tupelo. And those two are just phenomenal to carve. They're very easy to work with. And, and as far as like the stability, the structure, uh, it, it's very, very durable. It, it has a good solid, uh, solidity to it. And, and it really maintains its form and shape very well. I can tell you when you get it to the point here, um, where it's very much carved, uh, a lot of, of uh, piercing has been done and it's been removed and, and stuff like that. Yeah, it gets fragile, but so would any other wood product as well. So I really am liking the gourd. And because of the shape and structure, it's something that, that uh, I've been wanting to do and waiting to do for a very long time, thinking that uh, I had to have a lathe in order to be able to do it. So finding gourds was a really good thing. And to be able to go ahead and, oh, it's wet, hot in here. Go ahead and, and start expressing those ideas in a three-dimensional form that I was kind of holding out for for a lathe. But with the gourd, I can go ahead and begin to, to have some fun as far as on the artistic side of things. And so more of my videos are going to focus on, on carving gourds. Uh, but more importantly than that, I didn't carve the gourd just with a high-speed engraver, all right? The gourd, well, a lot of larger carvings, all the bird carvings I've done and fish carvings and a different experimentation, flowers, um, a lot of that, well, you can't do it all with a high-speed engraver. In fact, the final detail is the only thing I did with the high-speed engraver. So I used, you know, I used my flex shaft machine. Here's a couple hand pieces, all right? so. Use the flex app machine to do a bunch of it. Use my micro grinder. Here you go. Micro grinder to do a bunch of it. And then just the final detail was accomplished with a high speed engraver. So as I get into this and, and start having some fun, I'm going to be throwing up videos on, on how to use all this other equipment, um, things to think about, different burrs, uh, how to maintain uh, control of the handpiece and stuff like that as we get going. So I just want to show you the gourd, say, hey, it was a lot of fun, and I'll be getting more into that in the future, letting you know how it goes. All right, so with that, have fun, be safe, 
and enjoy all your power carving experiences. All right, we'll talk to you later.